hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is the highly requested wash and go video for 4b 4c hair so let's just jump right into it i have already washed my hair and i'm just rinsing out deep conditioner so i deep conditioned overnight and now i'm um, rinsing that out so that is Mayo Organics Curl Smoothie that I'm uh, putting on my hair right now. So I'm making um, medium to small sections. And then I'm going to basically put that in my hair and then work it through with the dimming brush. And the dimming brush is really important because it helps me define my curls. So I'm only kind of hitting about halfway down the hair shaft just to kind of get those curls to pop initially. And then we're going to apply a gel on top of that to get the curls to really be defined and hold. So the gel, that's I just applied the gel, that's what you just saw, I just didn't show it to the screen. So the gel I'm using is Wetline Extreme. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of Eco Styler, but I kind of like it a little bit more because I feel like the hold is a little bit better for me. So I apply the curl smoothie and then I apply the gel and then you'll see me basically I, I don't know what I really call this but I'm just basically defining my curls making really small sections and kind of just finger detangling smoothing the product through and just creating um, that curl definition like you know some curl patterns their curl definition just kind of magically happens or it happens a lot easier than ours so we just have to put in more work so you'll see me finger detangling and shingling and raking product through but this is basically, um, yeah, basically just what I do. And I do it in small sections all throughout my hair. So I'm basically just separating, smoothing the product down to create, um, not create, but to define the curls. And then I'm just, the separation is what creates the volume that you guys see when you see my finished product. So my hair is very voluminous. And the reason is because we have a bunch of curls on our head for a B4C, so you just have to separate them individually, and then once they dry, it's you know it's all nice and big and, and voluptuous. So I'm going to show you guys one more time. So um, I'm going to I do this all in the shower. So I rinse out my deep conditioner, and I kind of start the um, curl definition separation process under the running water. So that just kind of helps. Um, get the curls popping off to begin with so then I apply the curl smoothie I think that's about two to three pumps and I just it's very moisturizing and it smells amazing so I mean I, I guess you could use any other product like any other leave-in or any other moisturizer but I really like this product for my wash and goes so then I use the dimming brush again to um, define my curls and like I said I don't go all the way up to the top it's probably about halfway down and then a very generous glop gloop I don't know what you call it gloop of um, wet line gel and then you're gonna see me basically just going through my hair and creating these extremely small sections I'm just breaking apart my curls and then I run my fingers through them to um, make sure that the product is evenly distributed and that my curls are um, being defined separately so I've seen some people who do wash and goes and they kind of leave the curls clump together so it's more like waves but I really like this technique if you go through and you take the time and just take small sections run your fingers through and define those curls then you'll get the um, the volume and all of the coils and the curlies that we um, that we like so that's what I'm doing here just really really small sections and um, yeah just running my fingers through running the product through and um, and then basically I'm just going to it's like finger detangling but I think I don't know if it's called raking or shingling I might have to um, drop it down in the description box but I see um, finally Amber she does this technique where she kind of takes her um, curls and separates them so that's that's kind of where I got that from so it's a combination of a bunch of different techniques that I've seen and picked up just over um, the years of me trying wash and goes. This is like my seventh one, so I probably try one every year, and it gets it gets better each time. So um, once more, when you see me, I'm gonna rinse the product. That's um, Maya Organics. Um, I think it's mint. I can't recall the name right now, but I think it's Babasu Oil and Mint. Maybe that's what it's called. So I'm rinsing that out, and I'm just. Um, 
applying the pomegranate and honey curl smoothie after that. I use the dimming brush. I just want to be very thorough because um, I just know how hard the wash and go can be to, you know, perfect. So I just want to make sure that I go over this over and over. So the video is actually about 10 minutes long, but it's really just repetition at this point. So I'm applying the curl smoothie, then I apply the, um, the wet line extreme gel. Very generous, both of those applications. And then I just basically go through in, in small sections and separate, finger detangle, and um, define if I had to kind of step by step what I'm doing. So I separate the little pieces. As you can see, I'm just kind of finding where the curls have already started to um, form. And then I just separate and run my fingers through and down to um, really get those curls to pop. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to um, stop talking because it's, it's going to be just repetition at this point. You're just going to see me um, doing this over and over and over. But um, I really hope this helps. Like for B4C girls, I know like we we have it rough sometimes. But I just want you guys to know that a wash and go is a viable style for you. It is possible. You just have to, you really just have to be very diligent in the application and the technique. Um, what else? I air dry, so I won't show the air dry process because my hair took pretty much a full day to dry. But basically, I just air dried my hair and I, I blasted it with um, a blow dryer once or twice with like medium heat with a diffuser, but it didn't really do much. Like my hair just takes, so I, one thing I would say is do not do this at night. As you, if you can see, it's daylight. I think I started this process at about one o'clock on I think like last Thursday and when I was going to bed at 10 o'clock I still had a little a little bit of dampness going on so definitely don't do this at night definitely do this during the day and give yourself a full day to dry dry as much as you can and um yeah so I won't show the drying process but it was, it was basically an all day I just let it air dry I let it do its thing so it dried all day and the clip that you saw in the very beginning was my results. So I filmed a results like reveal, but I'm having some technical difficulties with my computer at the moment, so I don't have the footage. So that's why I at least put the Snapchat video um, in the beginning so that you can see what it looked like when it was finally finished. So, okay, I know I said I was gonna stop talking ago so I'm actually going to stop talking now but it's basically just repetition just separate finger detangle to find those curls and let it dry as much as you can before you sleep on it and you should be good so I really hope this video helps you I want to thank you all in, in advance for watching if you have any questions or comments you know what to do drop them below or you can hit me up on Instagram or shoot me an email whatever I'm, I'm, I'm available I'm, I'm around so um Thanks guys, until next time.